So this is about the search for the perfect nude lippy. Trini London got in contact with me and they said, would you like anything from the website? And I said, uh, yes, please, I'll have the lot. No, I didn't. I said, uh, yes, please, there's a lippy I'd really like to try. Now, I love a nude lip and I'm not sure if you, if you agree with me or if you have the same issue. If I get a neutral nudie lip with any hint of orangey, terracotta-y colour in it, it just kind of makes my teeth look yellow. And I saw this one on the website and I thought it had that kind of hint of bluey, mauvey, lilac-iness underneath it that should just give it that little lift that doesn't have that effect on your teeth. So I have the little pot here, it's just arrived and I thought I would open it with you. So it's called, it's a Lip Lux actually. And let's give it a go. I put my little second wedding ring finger in here. This is my first wedding ring finger. And my second wedding ring finger for if I take another husband. <laughs> I've been watching far too much Bridgerton and putting far too much on while I'm talking to you. This looks so good. There's definitely a blueiness to that. I can see. It. In fact, I've accidentally got a really good shirt on for this. I think this would probably make your eyes look blue if you have blue eyes. Come on, let's try it on. Get some on my second wedding ring finger. Oh, it's shiny. <laughs> I'm telling you things that you can see. Oh, it's shiny. It's definitely bluey. Oh, <laughs> what do you think? Oh, it doesn't taste of anything, which is good. Oh, are we thinking this is a keeper? You need to know the colour. The colour is Suze, spelt like snooze, but without the N. That's a good one. There's an airplane going over. Who's allowed to travel, I ask myself. And <laughs> taxi, <laughs> take us with you. <laughs> That's a good one. You have a good day, bye.